back to my YouTube channel. Now this video, I'm going to show you on why do they actually step up and then step down transformer are actually invented. Why is it so? Why do they need that? As I mentioned from my previous video, um, here, why do you step it up, then later step it down, and then step down further, 25, and then 11, and then to 240? Okay, I mentioned about to reduce heat loss. Now, how is that? How does it happen? Now, ordinary, or perhaps in an ideal transformer, whether you step up or step down. Let's talk about step up. Okay, for any step up transformer. The input number of coil will always be less than the output. So meaning, the output they will have more coil than the input. Where I define with the left primary coil, um, this is the input. So the power in in an ideal transformer, the power in and out. Are supposed to be the same, but in reality, from what we had learned last time, it's not okay. Um, that's why we have this uh, efficiency. Okay, we have output over input times hundred percent. That's what we have. That we learn from the past. We have this efficiency. Eta is actually the p output over p input times hundred percent. Right. This is what we have for uh, calculating the efficiency of transformer. Now. Why is that you need to step it out initially and then you step it out down later? Because when first the current and voltage input P is IV and out, they're going to be the same. So what happened in the event you step it up, step up, therefore your voltage output will be way higher than initial. But since they are going to be the same constant, the current, the current for a step down transformer will therefore reduce. So because of that, the one P out is reduced as compared to oh no, I mean uh, sorry, I uh, doesn't mean power, I mean current. When the current flow or perhaps electron flow is reduced, what happened? The wire, okay, the cable. Perhaps I emphasize it. The cable. They're going to have resistivity or resistance. So for power loss, would therefore be I squared R because they're going to have resistance on the cable. So when your current is reduced. So therefore, your power loss will be further reduced. So that's the explanation of why do we step up a transformer. I mean, you use step up transformer from the power station to your substation. Okay. So why is it stepping up? Because to reduce heat loss. Um, that's all from me. The same goes with my previous video. Advice to a student would be uh, you should try at least uh, 10 questions, objective questions on uh, efficiency as well as a uh, power loss and uh, ability to find out what's the power out, uh, power in, power out. At least 8 to 10 questions over a week time in preparation for your SPM end of the year. If this is your first time watching my video, kindly subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my next upcoming video. Thank you.